My name is Suleiman Mukahal. I work with the Geneva International Center for Humanitarian Demining as an IM advisor. I'm the coordinator of the Sixth Mine Action Technology Workshop, which was organized by the GICHD and UMMAS. We have welcomed over 100 participants from around the world, ranging from NGOs, mine action operators, to ED vendors and think tanks. The topic of this edition was mobile technology. We wanted to create a broader understanding and share lessons learned about the benefits and limitations of mobile applications which are currently used in the field or being developed. We're looking at an environment with no cell phones, no 802.11, only military radio. In this macro, you've got the core database, and then you have access to the database. And this is one of the access, is the portal. You can have 3D awareness of your of, of the situation, which can be very useful. In mine action, uh, exact and precise location is critical. This event brought together practitioners and developers to share their knowledge and experience in this exciting new field. We are promoting mobile technologies in the sector to make our, our work more efficient. This is an important opportunity for people to share ideas. Technology and innovation serve that, serve that purpose of protection. With so many tools being developed, we wanted to showcase how these technology can be used to enhance mine action. We also unveiled our new AMSMA core system, which employs cutting-edge GIS mapping technology. Information management experts from all over the world have presented new platforms, applications, and software solutions to harness mobile technologies and devices in the humanitarian context. We have been able to talk to colleagues in Syria and Ukraine through live streams and discuss the challenges and benefits of using mobile technology in conflict zones. You can see them live now from Syria. There is still quite intense fighting going on in eastern Ukraine in parts. Each place is totally different scenario. And this is something that we have to think about before we select our system, go to the field and start collecting data. With the advantages also come new challenges, both technical and cultural. This affects how we collect data, communicate, and share information, and adapt to the risks on the ground. We had some very interesting reality check in the afternoon that also showed the challenges that comes with innovation. The reason why we are here, we are here also to share with different stakeholders our own experience, our failure, because sometimes it's not easy. Mobile technology can offer great advantages such as speed, efficiency, and more accurate reporting, which help us save time, money, energy. Ultimately, what we are talking about is helping people rebuild their lives.